Hey you guys, it's me Kiafa and today I wanted to bring you a hopefully really useful video. Um, I have a website, I'm not sure if you know about it, but um, if you are watching this, you're either on the website or you're on YouTube, but anyway, you are a surgical tech and you are looking for some type of material to help you pass the exam, the surgical tech um, certification exam. As you can see, we're on the AST website, but the surgical tech exam, uh, the the board that governs the surgical tech exam is the National Board of Surgical Technology and Surgical Assisting, as you can see right here. Um, the exam that we're going to be talking about, because my computer is like running really slow. Um, the exam that we're going to be talking about is the surgical tech certification exam, the CST exam, which is here. Um, once you go here, you can go on and you can read about how to become eligible and, you know, all those various things. It's, it's a few different um, ways you can go about it, but for the most part, you just need to um, have went to a uh, accredited school and you should be eligible to take the certification exam after your clinicals and you graduated and everything from surgical tech, the surgical tech program that you went to. So, um, what I really uh, want to show you guys on this page is this. Um, I think it's right here. Yes, the examination content area outline. This is the same. I had it already had it open, but. This is it. My computer is like running extremely slow. I got too much stuff going on. Um, <clears throat> but here is the outline for the exam, you guys. Like they're giving you a breakdown of everything that you could possibly need to know about the exam and how many questions are going to be on each section. So you have that. Um, and then you're able to go in here and basically dissect the exam. If you know this, you know the exam pretty much. So um, this is one resource that I use when I took my exam. Now I will tell you guys, and I told you before, I think I took my exam twice. Um, I went to school in 2006 and I took it the first time, I think it was like 2015. So about a nine or 10 year gap from when I went to school taking it, I failed it by like a couple of points, like two or three points. It was so devastating because it was just so close, but I didn't make it. So anyways, I took it again and this is what I used. And then um, I also went to Google and let me back up so y'all can see that I didn't do anything special. The only reason I typed this in was because I already knew what I was looking for up here, but now you know what to look for when you're looking for this same thing. So you can either go to the website or you can just go straight to the PDF. This is the PDF for the, um, oh, they revised it. So let me back up. Wait a minute. No, don't go to the PDF. Scratch that. That's a, must be like an amendment to what I want to show you. But what I actually want to show you is here. Go to AST. And when you go to the AST website, you don't have to be a member, I don't think. Like, I'm not going to even log in. So it says educators, professional resources, then over here, core curriculum. And this is what you need. That's the first. Um, this is the actual curriculum that is taught to you in the schools at, you know by like they have to go by these guidelines the AST governs the curriculum for surgical techs the National Board of Surgical Technology governs the exam for surgical techs so there are two different places two different board uh, like organizations they do two different things. So you just, once you understand that, then you'll, you kind of understand what's going on here. So if you can combine the two, you'll be good to go. Both of them have, um, both of these organizations have their own study guide apps. Um, I 
don't know. Let me see if I can find it. I think it's just um, I have the app, and I'm gonna tell you something. If you buy the app and you pay for the practice exam, so you see here's the app right here. But the app is the same questions as these two practice exams that are, where are they? Oh, let me click on actual practice exam and then you'll see. So what I'm trying to say is this app is a combination of um, test form, CST form A and CST form B. And so you'll see here, and both of those are $40. So both of the exams, see how you see here, both of the exams are $40. Um, so it's up to you if you want to purchase both of the exams. I'll go over my exam in another video uh, for this right here so y'all can see how I did. I did okay. <laughs> I mean, I did okay because after I took it, I went and I, um, you know, a few days later, I actually passed the exam. But anyways... The point is, I purchased these two, and I also purchased the app that I just showed you. And the app is on, you know, it's, it's here, it's on the Apple Store, and it's at the Play Store. Um, but I purchased both, and nobody told me that they were the same exact questions. So, it's up to you if you want to buy the, um, you know, the actual practice exam. And then you can print it out and keep it, I guess. But for 80 bucks, I don't know if it's really worth it because the app is only 40 bucks, and you get like the same 300. I think you on the app you get like 320 questions, and for these practice exams, I think it's only 75 questions a piece. How many questions is it? 175 questions a piece. So yeah, it's about the same. So I guess that's not bad, but you need both of these in order to get the same information that you would need if you just if you was getting if you just got the app. So just know that. Um, but I did purchase it, like I said, and I did use these two to help me study for the exam. And I, like I also said, I will go over that in another video. We're not doing it today, but I'm gonna go over my exam, my practice exams with you guys, and hopefully that'll help you know, somebody maybe not have to buy it. I'm not, like, trying to screw over, like, the, you know, the national board, but I, um, I purchased it so I can share it with you, um, my practice exam, I, I believe, I don't see why I wouldn't be able to, but anyway, so, I'm gonna go over that in another video, but yeah, so let's go back to the, uh, to the outline, so this outline, you guys, is, really going to help you because like I said before it's it's a breakdown of the exam and so if you go into each one of these objectives or questions or if you make them into questions and you can answer these as questions then you can really pass the exam and it is a lot of information that you will be trying you know that you'll be learning but at the end of the day, you'll be, like, assisting with surgery, so you kind of need the information, you know. And one of my blog posts I wrote, you know, and not to, not to belittle any surgical techs that have, you know, education, because that's not what my intent um, is about to be. But a lot of times the surgical tech is the least educated in the OR, um, and, I, and not to say least educated, but most of the people in the OR are doctors, um, uh, anesthesiologists, or nurses and anesthetists, which anesthesiologist is a doctor for anesthesia, and a nurse anesthetist is also a nurse for anesthesia, but they went to, you know, got further training to, to specialize in that, but when you look at the requirements for their jobs compared to the requirements of a surgical tech, they are very, you know, one-sided. They have, the other team members have a lot more um, school and education behind them in their field versus the surgical tech that may have went to, you know, a vocational college and got a certification 
certification. I'm not talking down about it, you guys. I'm just, you know, just being honest on why getting your certification might benefit you. Like, it'll it'll give you that edge over, you know, not necessarily over anybody, but it'll give you an edge in the OR in general. It'll help you be more, you know, a team player. Like, you'll understand what is actually going on in the operating room versus just being that, like, weakling that barely, you know, remember, you know, what a pickup is actually used for or something like that you know just this is just going to help you and everybody knows that knowledge is power and everybody want to be in a powerful position and in order to be in a powerful position I think you need the knowledge now that doesn't necessarily mean that you can't get you know in a powerful position without getting your certification or, or having CST at the end of your name Never mind the actual certification part of it. I'm saying, I'm speaking on the knowledge part of it. Like, once you know this shit, like, you know this shit. And that's where your confidence comes in at. Like, my, the confidence that I have now in the OR because I know what's going on and I understand the concepts and I, I appreciate it in a different way. You know, that just makes me a better team member and... I mean, I don't know. You can probably ask some people I work with. I feel like it helps. I'm not the best surgical tech, and I'll tell you guys that. Um, and when I say the best, that I don't mean like as far as the technique go. I mean as far as knowing all of the surgical cases and things like that. I, I don't know all of the cases, and I'll tell y'all that several times. And I don't, I'm not on um, one of these surgical techs that like to say, oh, I do, you know, this, this, and that. Because really, when you look at someone that has been in a lot of services, yes, a lot of services, you you know, you kind of wonder how much, you know, um, experience do they really have in that field. But not to take away from it, because as an OR tech, you do want to be able to have a variety of surgical skills and, and different services. But, you know, to be done worse in like 10 different services, and maybe like four or five years, you know, you know, you got to kind of like look at it like that. Like if you'd have been a surgical tech for three years and you'd have been to five different hospitals and six different cases, like you're not really learning that like service. You're not really mastering that, that service. So, you know, I don't know, but that's just my take on it. I'm not saying, you know, techs that do a whole bunch of stuff, you know, aren't great techs. I'm just saying I don't do everything and I don't know everything. So I'm not like the best in that aspect, but I do like to know what I like to know. Like I, I know stair technique and you know, and I understand the process of the operating room and you should too as a surgical tech, like you should and be that person that doesn't understand what your job is because it's your job to understand what your job is. Now, after you go over these um, objectives, you'll be have a better understanding of what your job actually is. And so when somebody asks you to do something, you know, instead of you saying that's not my job, like most of it probably is after looking over this, you know, um, there's a lot of patient care information in here too. So just be mindful of that. But anyway, so that's, um, that's, this I, I don't know if I'm gonna actually I, I was thinking about making a video uh going into the, each you know maybe making a few videos about each of these objectives or at least the ones that may need more attention than others so I may do that but in the meantime you know you guys can come over here just go to the website where I'll walk you back through it so you, just so we'll know where we're at so I'm all the way, I'm going to go all the way to the beginning. So, this is where we're at. To get this, to get the outline, this is what we're doing. You're going to go to examinations. You're going to go to surgical, uh, certified surgical technologist. You're going to go to practice exam preparation and outline. And then you're just going to click on this examination content area outline button. And this PDF is going to open up. And then you can um, print it or leave it on here, whatever. I have a copy of it on my phone, go figure. But 
yeah anyway so that's this is your first resource this is what you need because like i said this is the organization that governs and organizes the exam and your credentials like once you get certified you'll be able to come here um and put in your information and then you'll see your name come up and you'll feel really awesome like i did <laughs> anyway so that's how you get to to verify like your credentials but as far as the the certification go like i said you need to be able to just come to the website go to exams come here you see the content outline click on that it's going to bring you to this button or this button either one of them is fine and then this pdf will pull up that is the first resource that you need the second resource that you need is this uh the cu the core curriculum and this is the curriculum that the instructors and directors that create the surgical tech programs this is what they go by all i did let me go back i'm sorry all i did you guys was type in core curriculum surgical tech like I said, um, not that one. Like I said, AST governs the curriculum. As that's that's who is in charge of the programs. As you can see on the website, without even logging in, I'm not logged in now. Without even logging in, it, you can come here and you can see everything that you need to be able to see about um, just the administrative part of surgical tech, like scrubs, skills checklist. Let's see what this is. Yeah, see, they just this is a breakdown of what you should know how to do correctly identify instruments and supplies so this will also be useful like if you're going to a new um if you're going to like a new hospital or somewhere or a new site let me make sure i'm not saying all right demonstrate isolation so like let's just say you want to a new place and you need to know where certain things are like this might this might help you this was like a like it would be a scavenger hunt or not a scavenger hunt like a um like a check check off sheet like if you was to go to a new a new I keep wanting to say command but it's not uh if you go to a new facility um you'll start seeing things similar like similar to this like can you do these things and the difference is. Instead of just getting a, like, oh well, yeah, you'll get initials. Like sometimes they have, if you don't, if you don't um, pass it, then they won't initial it. But yeah, this is pretty much, you could use that if you was going, um, I would use something like this if I just needed to kind of prepare myself for um, a new facility or just really anything. Just this probably would even help with your, um, exam as well just looking at it you know see how it says utilize computer information review um surgeon preference card and i come over here and watch this review surgeon's preference card see like that might help you honestly just so what i would suggest is really just come over here to ast look around the website um, everything that i'm looking at right now is under educators and professional resources so you just come to the AST website and you look at the re click on the resources. This form, this page will come up. Here's the core curriculum, like I was talking about earlier. Let's see what this one is. So this is that PDF that I had saw earlier on the web. So this must be just an amendment. Oh yeah. So what happens is this it. So I was just reading that real quick. They changed some things up last year, so of uh, last year and a few years ago. So maybe that's what this is. Oh yeah, so they changed the. Oh my god. Um, sorry, y'all. My dog is here and she just keeps like past gas. But anyway, so yeah, this is. I guess this is just saying what you need to do now as a um. To be able to uh graduate. Yeah. So, oh yeah, the surgical rotation requirement. So, duh. I didn't. Re I, I was reading it, but I wasn't reading it. So, anyways, that's that's all that is. So, like I was saying, 
all you really need for a study material from this page is is this PDF or is it yeah is a PDF is this PDF and then like I say just, just go to the website and take a look this is a really long PDF you guys it's 261 pages no it's long and but it's everything that you'll need and, and I'm gonna show you why I would suggest you use it so. So anyway, the it has everything you need in here. Like you might it might take you some time to actually look at it and kind of organize it to how it would benefit you. But if you just take the time and, and do it, you you will understand why it's it's really like a beneficial tool. So here, for example, um, anatomy. You just let, and I want this to go over here to this outline. You will need to know a lot about anatomy. Where is it? Here it is, A and P. So you see how these things are like they working together, but you don't know it, kind of. So on here it says go to page seven, and let's see what they say about A and P. So. Okay, here it is. So once you get to A and P, it's telling you what you you should be able to learn at the end. So here's your objectives. Like this is all you need, you guys. Basically, how I see this, and I don't know how you guys see it, but how I see this outline is when you're looking at the organizations of the the human body. We're gonna start with the body plane. There's five planes. These are the five planes. Do y'all see that? When you're talking about the organization uh, of the human body, the B part is the direction of time. There's eight of them. These are the eight. You see what I'm saying? And then if you want to even take it a step further, you can go down and break down what superior, what inferior, what interior, what posterior. You know, you need to know it. So, But this is giving you a better way of understanding or organizing, I should say, the material to be able to study it. It's already an outline form. Uh, you really just need to be able to fill in the blanks here. Like, just understand what it is that they're asking you and answer the question. If you know this stuff, if you can answer this, and like I said, this is a, this is a pretty big book, but it's free. And I know a lot of people don't want to buy study guides and things like that. And so this is the way for you to be able to do it, you know, yourself without having to pay for a study guide if you really don't want to. Or if you do want to, this would just even help you even more, you know. But I really like this. Um, when I saw it, I was just like, oh, yes. Like even abnormalities, like there's seven abnormalities. What are the seven abnormalities? And then here you go. And then if you if you know what each of them are, you know, then you when you see a question that relates to, we'll say this is talking about abnormalities, and it adds, it it gives us the question as what um, which one of these are not an abnormality, and then you'll know because you already know what the abnormalities are, how many they are, and what they you know what they are, so. The same thing with this one. Like, this is probably ortho it looks like I'm in right now. I probably should have, like, done my thing a little bit better. But anyways, this looks like ortho. Or maybe not. Oh, see, yeah, no. I see what it's doing. So, anyways. Okay, here we go. So, if you just come to whatever you're trying to learn about, whatever it is, Come up, or actually first, come over here, make sure, you know, you understand what section is in and everything. Just read it. Once you, once you got that down, then come over here, look it up. You got your answers, the skeletal system, you know, there's uh, three parts to the skeletal system because we see, oh, it's probably more than that. Hold on, let me scroll all the way down. 
yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. So, however many parts, like, just look at it. Make sure you're paying attention. So, okay, so how many was that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, I think. Ten or eleven. But, did I look at that wrong? I might have looked at it wrong, guys. But, anyways, you get what I'm trying to say. What I'm trying to say is, take what you, this right here, like I said, the abnormalities or any of these, um, any of these. New, um, Roman numerals like the, the ones that have the Roman numeral headers take any of those that's your question how many you know what makes up you know whatever so now you see what makes up the skeletal system what makes up that's your question what makes up whatever just use the Roman numerals what makes up you see and so now you know you got the muscle, the muscular system. The muscular system looks like it's about, that's five. It's composed of five, six. It's composed of at least six different. Yeah, it's composed of at least six different um, areas or how, whatever you want to, how you want to word that. It's composed of six different areas. What are the six different areas? Boom. These are the six different areas. Okay, the function of the muscle. Well, how many functions does the muscles have? The muscles have three functions. Well, what three functions do the muscles have? The, mu the, the three functions are movement, posture, and, you know, heat production. That's, that's going to be on your test, you guys. Like, you just don't even know. So, anyways, that's. This is just a brief, I'm sorry if I'm all over the, the place, but this was just a brief, quick, like, let me just throw this up here so y'all can actually get started. You don't need no money for this. This is free. This is free. You, do you hear me? Like, this is free. It don't cost nothing. I know I have a lot of people um, on my page that be asking me about the study guides and stuff and do I suggest them? And I mean, yeah, it's knowledge. So as long as it's accurate. I guess it's all good, but this is this is coming straight from the not so much the horse's mouth, but this is straight from you know the organizations that are governing governing the exams and the curriculum that the exams are doctored around. So I hope this was helpful. I'm sorry if I confused you, but just to recap what I was saying, what I was trying to say was just use these, use the parts that are the Roman numerals because though, like when you're looking at an outline, you know how you start with the Roman numeral number one. So that's the first component. That's your first headline. That's your first question. After you get, you got to break that all the way down and they basically breaking it all the way down. I'm trying to get at least to like the first page, you guys. I'm sorry. Maybe in the future I'll be able to do this a little bit better. I really don't know how to use this without my mouth. That's the problem. So, anyway, is this it? Is that the end of the page? Okay. So, you see how Roman number one, healthcare, ser healthcare services. How many? You, you see what I'm saying? Well, this one is a table of contents. So, let me, let me rephrase this. This is a table of contents. So, what this part will actually do is it's going to help you. It, it should kind of coincide with these, um, like, how this outline is like maybe it doesn't where was ANCA maybe it doesn't I thought hold on y'all I'm sorry if it's making you dizzy oh there it is but see how it's under this um section so and then microbiology, but either way, like, if you just take the time and look at it, you'll be able to put everything together, the pharmacology, you definitely need to know, you need to know how to convert from, like, whatever to whatever, um, pound, I think I'd had pounds, ounces, or ounces, I don't remember, but you need to know how to do this, and so let's see if we can go to pharmacology without me 
doing this up too much. Pharmacology. I just want to see if they show you. So, what was that? So, let's see, okay, sex, uh, health science. This is the first section. Anatomy. It's telling you what you're going to learn. This is what you're going to learn. I know you should have learned some of this in school, but this is a more condensed. Like, it, if you learned a lot in school, great. But this is going to condense everything you've learned in school and give you a way to be able to know the material to take the exam because you know, you really do want to know it. Like, it's really going to help you out and it's going to make you look, you know, a lot better and be more confident in the OR. I'm just trying to get to pharmacology, you guys, and I'll start messing with this. I just wanted to actually see if it was going to... um say that you needed to know how to convert, but I know conversions was on my, um, was on my exam. It was on it both times. I just don't see where it's on here. What page is it? Let me go back. I think it's F. I'm sorry, guys. Just bear with me. I can't remember what page it said it was on. Like, seriously? 37. Let's see. Okay, so pharmacology and anesthesia. It says... Use medication. Prepare medication. Apply general terminology to medication. Calculate medication conversion. This is it, you guys. This is on here. This is, that was on my exam. Like, not just this, but that was on my exam. So, this is what you need in your life if you're trying to take the exam. I'm telling you. I might be joking and, you know, you may feel like I don't sound professional enough or whatever the case may be. But, I'm at home right now and I'm making this video for you guys. So you can go home and you can study and pass your exam so you don't, you know, so you'll actually do better in OR. You can be the best surgical tech. Shoot, you can be the best surgical tech you can be, but honestly, you know, depending on where you at, you might be the strongest team. Like, even if you're the, the youngest person there, if you have this knowledge, you might be stronger than some of the people that's been there, you know, for for a long time because you got this fresh information. You can apply. You understand what it it means. I I just really think, you know, this just gives you that edge. It just makes it more professional. Like you're professional as a surgical tech. You take your career serious. You know, you take your patient serious. I'm just looking, you guys. Like, oh, excuse me. Yeah, all of this. That's funny. Yeah, I um, I'm just sitting here thinking of all the different. You need to know these, the different stages of anesthesia that was on there. It's this is really useful. So on a another uh on another video, I will possibly go into the detail a little bit more, but. This video is already 30 minutes long, and it's way longer than what I thought it was going to be. But I hope that you guys found it helpful. Um, oh, I, I don't know what it is. Um, like, oh, just to, to, you know, touch on it one more time. Definitely go over to AST and just check out. I'm going to just go to it in the middle window. Just go over to AST and just tinker around with their website. Like I said, you don't have to be a member. I would advise you to become a member because there's some perks that come along with that. Yes, I am a member. I've only been a member for a year, but, you know, it's pretty cool. And they offer a lot of great resources. And so, you know, it would be nice to be able to, I guess, help with that with that by just being a, a a member but you don't have to be a member to do this all you need to do is go to ast.org um go to professional resources click on that go 
over here at the uh, core curriculum. Click on that. This is your PDF. That's this this PDF right here. Um, yeah, you guys. I, like I said, I hope this video was helpful to you. I hope that if you are pursuing your surgical tech career that you get it. Or not career, excuse me. That you get your surgical tech exam if you're um, pursuing it. And if you need anything, feel free to ask, you know, ask me, drop a comment um, in the comment area. Just let me know what it is I can do for you guys. Um, make sure to go over to my website. I am going to do it. It's right here. It's still kind of under construction, but by the time this video get out today or tomorrow, the website will be ready. I just need to play with, like, <laughs> the font a little bit more and just some of the, the designs. But, um, yeah, just come over to the website, you know, and just check it out. It's not really much, but you will be able to contact me on this, um, on this website. You also will be able to comment, and whenever you come over here, I will be, um, Whenever you come to this website, there will be a lot more content that is direct directed mostly to surgical techs getting their certification. Um, I will talk a lot about just random surgical tech stuff, but this this surgical tech um, website is to help you obtain your surgical tech certification. And even if you're not a surgical tech, you know, and you're just kind of curious on what it is that we do and things like that, you know, you're more than welcome to come over, but just stay tuned, it'll be, um, I will try to create like a study guide type form for you guys that might need a little more than just these two resources, but if you just come over, um, you know, just chat back in every now and then, there'll be plenty of useful content on here, you guys, this is something that I'm very passionate about this year, this is my baby, so... It's going to be, you know, all for you guys, and if anybody's out there that would like to contribute to, like, a study session or something, or got some information that they would like to share with other surgical techs, I am more than willing to, you know, accept useful, accurate information to share with surgical techs. I am not trying to give you guys no bad information, so if I'm telling you, you know, that this is something legit as far as surgical tech goes, then it's legit. I am also on YouTube, you guys, and I just redid my YouTube channel, or I'm redoing it and everything, and so I, um, it's, uh, it's still under my personal name, and I don't know if I'll be able to change it, but either way, you can just come over to YouTube and really, like, type in my name and everything. And the only videos that are probably come out right now is my surgical tech videos. So, yeah, I'm right here. That's me. I'll have to figure out some kind of way to change it. But uh, you'll be able to come over here, too, and get more videos and information on being a surgical tech and getting certified for those who want to be certified. And just, yeah, a, a whole bunch of my awesomeness. So, Anyways, you guys, thanks for watching the video. Please share it, you know, like it, whatever you can do um, to help spread the word to other surgical techs that may be, you know, struggling with the exam. Um, I will do private sessions if y'all need, like, a private session, like a private um, study session. But all that stuff will be on the website and on YouTube and on Instagram. <laughs> so... Y'all, I'm everywhere. Just try to follow me. Um, just to make follow me on all the social media sites, just so you will know what's happening. Um, I don't post everything on each site, so if you follow me on Snapchat, you know you might get something that you won't get unless you are, you know, on Snapchat. And if you follow me on Facebook, which I have a Facebook to you guys, um, Facebook is it actually has their own, it actually has a surgical tech certification um fan page so if you just come over to um, facebook and type in surgical tech certification as you see there you'll come to this page and i hope you like that button and yeah so just make sure you follow me everything is a work in progress but i am working on it and like i say by the time you get by the time you all get this video all of this stuff will be ready to go i'll have the kinks and everything 
you know, um, smoothed out. And anyways, you guys, this video is 40 minutes long, and I am hungry now. So I will catch you guys on another video. And like I say, please like, share, and subscribe. I will see you guys next time. Peace.